Hello guys uh, and uh, welcome back into my shack. Uh, today uh, we're gonna talk about CB, about uh, citizen band radios because I uh, wanna present you um, a linear amplifier, an Italian linear amplifier I just modified. As you probably know the main problem with uh, the transistor linear amplifiers is the SWR who's killing the transistors and of course uh, inside the car or truck a tube linear amplifier would be great. Uh, the problem is that uh, they require a lot of voltage uh, mainly for the anodic voltage it's often around uh, 1 kilovolt or uh, 600 volts anyway very much uh, to be obtained from um, one battery of 12 or 24 volts but uh, today I've just modified a uh, classic uh, Zetagi BV131 uh, so that he is able to operate uh, within uh, uh, 12 uh, volts uh, from, a, from a car. Um, here you see the, the amplifier, the tube, and you can see the transformer uh, which has been rebuilt. In fact, I removed the second, uh, the primary winding and um, I made another uh, primary winding for 12 volts uh, who's who is driven by a push-pull montage uh, uh, using uh, a regular integrated circuit uh, from a computer power supply and four uh, transistors, four MOSFET transistors uh, in push-pull uh, connection. Uh, so, uh, with uh, 13.9 volts we'll try to see uh, how much power we can have from that amplifier. We're having the power meters connected to a Zetagi uh, dummy load and let's operate it. Let's operate it. Let's see what we're gonna have. Well, more than 100 watts. More than 100 watts. Yes, you can hear the transformer. You can hear the transformer, but you can see the power. So, uh, and let's see if it drops the, the input. Well, yes, it drops to 11 volts. Uh, probably in a, in a car, uh, the drop wouldn't be uh, so important, so the power can be even uh, higher. I, I guess, I didn't test it on the car, but I will do it tomorrow, so I will post some infos. Uh, that's all folks, thanks for watching, wish you all the best 73 and uh, hope to see you on the band.